Ethan, thanks very much for joining us post-game. A, a heartbreaking end to that one. Do you have to leave the game feeling really disappointed? Absolutely. I mean, you know, I think we dominated the whole game, had our chances. Um, when teams set up like that, it's, it's difficult, but you have to find a way to get through. And we did end up getting through. I feel like this, the next bit of our game, which will come, will be the, the, the final blow, uh, which is the second goal, the third goal. Um, just keep keep pounding, uh, keep pounding away and just trying to get as much, I don't know, just safety as possible. Um, unfortunately, what happened happened today and it's something that it's hard to analyze because it's like, yeah, you can see it and it's almost like a freakish thing to happen. You know, the floodlights, whatever, the ball's going up and moving. It's, it's You don't really come up against that uh, as much, but it's something that we have to adapt to and get ready for. Um, and today was a, was a great lesson for it. Yeah, their goal at the end there looks like a, a pretty simple route one ball over the top. You can see the frustration from everyone when it's gone in. Is it just one of those things that unfortunately can happen in football? Yeah, we can't get too hold up on that because <laughs> we <laughs> look at it, you know what I mean? It's one of them ones where it's just, again, very simple, unfortunately, but it was just the guys knuckleboard it up into the air and it's bounced weird. And unfortunately, it's hit one of our players, ricochet, ricochet, next thing you know, goal. But it's just... Again, I feel like it's more of just a learning thing where it's just, right, cool. This is what teams are gonna try to do to try to get past us, try try get to us. Because as we showed the whole game, really, I'm not sure they really touched the ball. And whenever they did, they were booting it straight back to us. So um, it was complete domination. Um, these are the little things we just need to look out for. Yeah, like you say, another dominating performance. Do you feel like if you keep to these levels, then the wins will really start coming again? Absolutely. Positives, positives, positives. This is a club where we are growing and we, we're showing that we're winning games. We're setting records already, you know what I mean? Um, and unfortunately, this happened today, but we didn't lose the game. There's a point on the, on the table. Um, so, yeah, it's, it's a bit of an annoying one, but again, I'm coming back from injury. Chris is coming back from injury. We're still trying to lock in these type of things. Um, Luke Harris coming in. So it's a positives, positives, positives. And once once we get into the next international break, train, gel a bit more, we're going to be laughing. So I, it's something I'm looking forward to. Yeah, it puts you a couple of points off Wickham with a game in hand though on them as well. Are you really confident in wrestling back that top spot? Yeah, it doesn't really phase us. We don't, uh, the gaffer, I think from the off, he's told us, yeah, the, the table will look how it looks, but the performance is what is important because if we perform well, it, it gives us a consistent way of winning. Um, and then I feel like we're showing that with the wins we got already. Um, again, today's like a little blip, but again, we got a point on the board. Um, yeah, we'll, we'll be there, don't worry. There's not, not anything uh, we should be worried about or anything, we'll be there. Yeah, on a personal note as well, you've had a good run of games back in the side after a really unfortunate injury, of course. Are you feeling nice and back up to speed now? Yeah, I'm feeling good. Obviously, the, the gaff has been giving me grace by coming, taking me off so 75th, etc. And this is about building, building. I feel like you can see how much running I'm doing and I'm being able to do, which is such a positive for me personally. And just mentally, just knowing that, right, I'm in a good place and I can only get better. So. 27,000 fans here, of course, today. How, how well have they turned out to support you? The Blue Wall, man. The Blue Wall. This is a, this is a fortress and it's something that we need to be proud of. Uh, players and fans where we look at us, we look at the surroundings, we look at this stand, that stand. I think, yeah, this is us. And this is what I, I love because obviously I feed off the fans quite a bit. Um, the noise, obviously, when I'm in the zone, I don't really hear it. But when the ball goes out of play, a big tackle, a goal, it, it brings me back. I'm like, yeah, OK, cool. Extra 10 percent, Ethan. So, yeah. Uh, just finally, it's a, a couple of weeks now until the next game. A lot of time on the, the training field until then. Of course, you would have wanted to go into that with a win, but is that going to be a really important couple of weeks to learn a few more things from the gaffer? 100%. Again, every day is a, is a day where we can learn something new. You know, if you look at us from the start of the season to now, even then, we've grown a lot. Um, these, these couple of weeks is perfect for us to be able to just solidify certain patterns, things that are what we're going to come up against. Um, and ways to break them down and this is why I, I love having this type of break because it's then you, when there's games like thick and thin, um, thick and thin just coming 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 um, it can be hard to like try get specifics in um, but now that we have these two weeks we can really get in these specifics what we need to work on etc etc and then go into the, the big period of games um, with our heads held on. Ethan thank you very much. Thank you.